The ROV came down right at the bow of the ship on the starboard side. It was immediately apparent that this was the John V. Moran. We were really impressed with how intact the vessel was. It seriously looked like it was still at the dock, ready to sail away. Uh, the anchors were in place at the bow. We could see the, uh, the uh, stairway leading up to the pilot house. And the fact that the pilot house was there at all and completely intact, even with a little bit of glass in some of the windows, was, uh, was really amazing. The visibility was extraordinary. We, we could see almost uh, three-quarters of this 214-foot ship immediately. And, of course, historical photos only show us certain views of the ship. We were seeing details on the forward deck of the ship that we'd never seen before, like the ship's double wheel in the pilot house. You can see the zebra mussels and quagga mussels have uh, taken over the vessel, as happens with most of the shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. But uh, a lot of detail is still uh, visible, including, the, I mean, the, the actual windows, uh, a little bit of glass in some of them. We see the uh, stairway leading into the pilot house. The doorway has been uh, blown off, but otherwise you could walk right in there today and stand at that ship's wheel.